changes to membership passive cert gain, the flash, platoon management window, and new Empire-specific rocket launchers in this episode of Planetside 2 Roadmap. Thanks for joining me, Araxians. I'm Luperza, and today I'll be discussing some of the upcoming changes in the next Planetside 2 game update. While this video does not cover every single change, it will explain details behind some of the bigger items. Players with a Planetside 2 membership will notice an increase in the amount of certification points they gain per day, depending on whether you have a copper, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, or Araxian membership, your certification points gained per day will increase progressively. This should surely boost your arsenal. Who doesn't like options when defeating their foe? Personally, my go-to weapon is my flare. This month's vehicle update is focused on the flash. Adjustments have been made to the model to account for a new passenger seat. You'll notice that you now have a secondary seat on the back of your flash. While another passenger is in this seat, they will be able to use any items in their loadout other than deployables like the engineer's ace tool for mana turrets. Yep, that means you can throw grenades and shoot down your foes with your favorite weapon as a passenger in the flash. For those of you who would rather play a bit more sneakily, the flash will now have a wraith ability that allows it to cloak for short duration when the driver is an infiltrator. The cloak works similar to the way that your infiltrator cloak works. It has a fuel duration, and the fuel goes down when the ability is activated. And just a reminder, you cannot fire your weapons while cloaked. For those of you who are working together and forming platoons, you'll be happy to know that our platoon management window has a nifty drag and drop mechanic. You can easily click on a player and drag them to whatever squad you want. We'll also be adding three new rocket launchers that will go live around the middle of March. These are reimaginings of the original planet side's Empire-specific rocket launchers. The VS-22 Lancer for the Vanu Sovereignty, the TS-2 Striker for the Terran Republic, and the NC-15 Phoenix for the new conglomerate. The VS-22 Lancer will have a charge-up mechanic. You can charge up to three levels on this weapon. Each level will make the rocket launcher deal more damage than the previous. For those of you who have been asking on end, yes, the VS-22 Lancer will have a laser beam particle effect. The TS-2 Striker is a lock-on rocket launcher that fires multiple rockets at the same time. Currently, it is the only rocket launcher that is magazine-fed. We're also playing around with the idea of having players keep their cursor on their target while their rockets are going to their lock-on destination. The NC-15 Phoenix is currently the only camera-guided rocket launcher. It's a one-shot heavy payload weapon with a fast projectile that hits hard. Do note that you can be killed while the Phoenix's rocket is in the air. That's it for this episode of Planetside 2 Roadmap. Make sure you jump in game and check out these updates throughout the month of March. Please subscribe to the Planetside 2 YouTube channel and leave your comments just below the video. I'm Luperza at PerfectStorm on Twitter. You can also reach us at Planetside 2. Thanks for watching. Sony.